Well, today we're going to take a look at our 3080 on a much loved coin by quite a few GPU miners, and that is Ravencoin. So let's take a look at our hash rate and what kind of power we are using when we are mining Ravencoin. What's going on YouTube? Today we are looking at our EVGA RTX 3080 FTW3 Ultra again. This time we're going to be pointing this bad boy over onto Ravencoin. Now Ravencoin is a much loved coin when it comes to GPU mining and the proof of work algorithm. Now we're going to take a look at some hash rates here and our power consumption. If you haven't yet, there are a bunch of you that have seen my videos and have yet to subscribe. So please hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet and let's get on with this. Okay, so here we are in HiveOS. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to check out what to mine. I punched in the 3080, so it is detecting that or trying to tell us. We're going to be doing 39.5 mega hash at about 250 watts. So... I'm going to go back into here. I did set this to 251 watts for a power limit, but I'm just going to start off with our Ethereum settings here. I just want to take a quick look into the popular presets, see exactly what other people are potentially using here. And it looks like 1050 core, 2000 memory, 240 power limit, minus 200. So that is pre, um, before the core clock, the whatever it is where it you keep your core clock. I can't remember the name of it. Doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, 1150, 24. So it looks like these people are using close to what Ethereum settings are minus your power limit. So a little higher power limit, which is what we already did. Now, keep in mind, if you are switching over from Ethereum over to something like Ravencoin or Conflux or something, and you do have your power supplies either um, maxed out, almost maxed out, and you're running SATA or something on your GPUs as well to your risers, you will want to take the load off your PSUs, add another PSU, cut them in half, uh, swap over to six pins from SATA if it's on your risers because you do use more power and I don't want to see anybody lighting their house on fire or anything. So please uh, keep in mind when you swap algorithms, everything uses a different power. As you saw the other day, Ergo uses uh, like, half as much power as ethereum does and ravencoin starts using even more power than ethereum so if you got everything balanced on ethereum you are going to have to start adding more power supplies making sure your cables are better than what you are currently using if you're on side if you're on six pins and whatnot you are all right i just want to point that out so let's take a look and fire this up so i fired up our flight sheet on two miners i am using t-rex and we're just gonna have a quick look here so here is our power consumption. It says we're using 310 watts. Now, remember, our system is 20 watts over. So we're using about 390 watts right now. But we are at 44.84 mega hash. Uh, is this coming down a little bit, actually? So we're not straight up holding there. Another thing about Kapow, the mega hash will vary. So uh, it will be at, like, say, 44. Then it could go to 45 for a while. Then it could drop down to 43, 42. So it's, it kind of switches how it actually does its algorithm, make it a little harder and a little easier at times. And that kind of helps to keep it ASIC resistant. So to maintain the exact hash rate is very difficult all the time. Now you will see, like you'll get to the idea of what uh, you're actually mining at the time because you will get the same numbers based when it switches over. So like right now, if I'm always at 44 and what it's doing now, I'll be at 44. And when it swaps to whatever else, I'll be at 46. If I'm, I'll always be at 46 and so on. So you'll get that. But as for the most part, if we're doing quick tests, as soon as you turn it on, you won't get an accurate number. Like I could be doing what What to Mine says. Remember, it is saying, uh, where are we at here? 39.5. But we are up to 40, what is it? 44.66 mega hash. Now we are using a lot more power than it says. So we're going to tune this down a little bit and have a look and see exactly what we can get out of this. All the settings I have been doing turn out to be pretty much uh, the same efficiency around a 0 0.15 and then plus minus, you know, a little bit in that third decimal around there. So 0 0.15 something. And then I was like, okay, well, let's check out some other settings here. So I did go and uh, Red Panda did do a bunch of hash rate tests. So here is his channel. We all know Red Panda Mining, obviously. But I went in and here is 0 0.16 mega hash per watt. So I went into mine. He does 100 on the core, 1,000 on the memory, and 90% fans. And that's what he gets. So the total watts of the system is 343. 
as you can see, there's my watt meter. We're about 340, 340 to 345 bouncing around. So 343 is about there. Software is indicating 280. I run into my software here and we're at 279, so pretty close. And now we're looking at our mega hash as well. We are at 46.98. And this is saying we should hit, uh, where are we again now? Ravencoin, 0.167. So we should be at 45. So we're getting a little more mega hash. But ultimately, the efficiency is 0.16. Now, as we know, my system is running 20 meg or 20 mega hash, 20 watts. So we're using 320, I don't know, 25 watts or so. So I'm going to go 325 because that's usually where it hangs out about. So 325 watts at 46.98 mega hash is only 0.144 mega hash. Now, I don't know if uh, it's the gold power supply, if I've swapped over to possibly... Maybe, uh, let's see here, a platinum supply. Will that drop my power a little bit and use less and ultimately have more efficiency and get a better hash to watt ratio? I don't have a platinum one to test that, so I can't say if that would do that much at all. But ultimately, it could, it might not, I don't know. But uh, if you do actually divide, um, divide our mega hash to our... Whereas our system power of 20, of 280, which I have it set to, which is what it's drawing in the system here. So if I actually set use that, then we do have a 0.16 mega hash per watt type of ratio. But that is not the power I'm actually consuming. That software is losing like 30 or 40 watts to you because, again, subtracting our system from here means we're using 325 watts, not 280. So... That efficiency so so far the best efficiency I can find for these are 0.15 I'm just gonna do a little more tweaking here and see what I can actually come up with for uh, 0.15 and a little bit more <laughs> stay tuned okay so through some tweaking and playing around I think I'm starting to settle around here probably still gotta do some tweaking and I'm curious what you guys are running on your cards and what kind of uh, power consumptions you are getting at the wall as well as the type of PSU you are using but um, I'm at 1,000 core here, 1,400 mem at a power limit of 245. So 1,000 is your absolute core clock there. We're sitting around 43.13. Just have another look here. Uh, looks like we dropped down to 42.91 now. I do not. We were at the 43s for a while, and now it just tanked a little bit. So I'm not quite sure if it's doing a, a switch over to a different mini algorithm or what it's doing but for the most part our uh, power consumption was 325 watts so on the meter that is 345 watts all right wait no never mind that's totally wrong that was 280 watts i'm looking at the totally wrong uh section on my paper there because i do have a piece of paper in front of me as i'm writing these down as i was doing tests anyway so we're at about 280 281 watts uh, i based it off the 43.13 mega hash where we were sitting around now it is slowly coming down again, so we'll have to let it tinker out and see what happens. But that was 0 0.155 mega hash per watt, which seems to be the highest I can seem to get right now. So again, let me know what you guys are getting. Uh, Ravencoin, you know, bouncing around depending when you hit the coin on its algorithm could determine how it's actually performing. So if we tried this exact same test in an hour we, with these exact same settings, it could be... Uh, a little better mega hash for a watt. It could be a little less mega hash for a watt. So Ravencoin is a hard one to tune, but you can get a nice little ballpark in there. Again, let me know how you guys have your cards tuned, your 3080s, so I can try them settings as well and see how it actually differ differentiates between them. I totally butchered that word. I'm bad with words. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll do some more tuning here on this 3080 tomorrow. Let me know what coins you would like to see because pretty soon I am going to be putting this card into my gaming machine. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one and rabbit out. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please consider watching one of these other videos, hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button. We do a live stream every Sunday, and Discord link is in the description as well. Thanks, everybody, again, and Rabbit out.